Sorry, because I want maybe just to critique what you've seen and critique me and the players of this last juggling. Come on, let's go. Lads, take the three lads down here. And again, you're not going to get standing. So a training session must replicate the game as much as possible. Even in the downtime, you're in the ready position. You're up on your toes. You're not having a chat. You're not flat-footed. For the hour and ten minutes that you train, when you're not going flat out at a drill or a game, you're on your toes in ready position. All right? Pull it in just a wee bit more. How did that feel for you? Good. Do you understand what I'm telling you about hitting the space, not the face? Naturally, we want to hit the player because we started off being taught to pass, one-to-one, -one, stationary, Sender, receiver, both stationary. Hard then to change about, you know, to put the ball a wee bit in front of man. But isn't that where you want it? Yeah. Well, you want it a wee bit in front to come out at pace and take it in one bounce. That's impossible to mark. What didn't work so well for us, you think? Where could we get better at? Coming off the shoulder. Coming off the shoulder. You're passing the ball and you're admiring your pass. You've got to get out that out of your, out of your, you know, you're wired, your brain's maybe wired a wee bit. Oh, I must see where my pass went. The minute you hit that ball, you're gone. Will you always get the ball back? Of course you won't. But what might you do? You might make space, you might pull men away, you might make room for somebody to come down the middle. You see players nowadays in the modern game hugging the sidelines. Three or four players hugging the sidelines every one. What are they wasting their time doing that for? But they're making angered runs there at the right time. Maybe the game's ten minutes on before they ever get to touch the ball. What are they what are they trying to do? They're trying to open up the defence. So it's things like that you need to think about. Okay? Uh, just maybe some things that I've missed there is just my brain, can I take a brain freeze here. What, what do you see there? It's all good, just, very, I know it, the lads wouldn't maybe all know each other, just the names, calling the names. Correct. Very quiet lads. Have you been together many times yet? Is this your first time? Second, right, so make it, make it your business now to get to know each other's names. Start talking to others, start talking to others, start communicating. So important. If I'm playing against a team that's constantly communicating, I get worried. Because I know these lads are well set up, they're well organised, they've got leaders in the group. So start doing a wee bit of that. Anything else, Kevin? No? Always probably strong as foot. Sorry? Strong as foot all the time. Yes, okay, and I'm, I haven't done that. But in a session I would, I probably, to be honest, if I'm being honest, I probably would, I would do that. Maybe today I'm running through stuff pretty quickly, but yes, you would have to do that. And you play games, you know, you'd be playing games there, kick passing games, <coughs> maybe the, the sock up on what's regarded as the weaker foot, and that's the foot they have to use, and you'd have a lot of competition, and you do that regularly until it becomes second nature. I'm probably not going to cover a lot of that day, but that's a very good point. Of course you would. Just one thing I know is, especially for younger guys, as you say, the receiver telling the kicker where they want the ball. Yes. Um, if you look at any, you know, maybe adult football, soccer, whatever, ladies' ball, they're pointing where they want the ball. Yeah. It helps the kicker to send the ball. Yeah. Listen, you don't want to be one of these air traffic controllers as a forward. You know what they do? You know, they're in behind the man, waving them, gesticulating to where they want it. But do they really want it? No, they don't. You want people who come out, demand the ball right and left, who are determined. You know, you football's a funny thing. People think, oh, you have to be... During the game, you don't have to be very nice. You have to play the game to, to, to according to the right ethics of the game. But when the game is on, you sort of want to make that man that you're marking wish he never got up that day. You sort of know what I mean. But he'd never seen you because you want the ball so much more than him. Your desire is greater than him. And that comes a wee bit from... That comes through even in, in, our, in our foot passing. Right, do you want to do any more there?